Hey there everyone, this is a quick video covering an item I reckon be great for Daisy as well as other games and this is the juice carton. At the moment we've got soda cans and water bottles in Daisy but I reckon there should be more variety here. With the dev team concentrating on all cool stuff that players want such as new weapons and vehicles, there's loads of small items that modders could design in mods. Now these items, okay, they're not massive game changers and this isn't a video which is like, it's a super game changer thing where it's some model which is going to just revolutionize it all. No, it's just like a simple juice carton. But the little things have value and are appreciated and in the end they all add up to bring a more detailed, immersive and realistic game. So I thought it'd be good to do some work in this area and raise it up a little bit for the modding or in preparation to. So I've designed a small range of juice cartons for us to go through. Check this out, this is juice cartons. Here's the pitch. When raiding through cupboards and fridges you could encounter a sealed juice carton. Here's my first one. An orange juice carton. I considered making those smaller lunchbox cartons with those little twisty straws with the plastic wrappers on the side, but I kind of thought, mm, nah, let's go bigger. I think that Daisy has a good selection of small drinks, but no large drinks. I reckon a litre carton would be similar to a larger item like a bag of rice, so it could be harder to encounter. Plus, it could be rare due to the fact that it has major health benefits. For drinking a litre of orange juice, you get hydration as well as energy, so it could benefit both health tabs here. Here, but I reckon this item would really shine if a nutrition table was brought in, though if not I'm sure something of that sort will come around later on whether in this game or the next. Right, well that's the orange carton, a great source of energy and hydration, either equal in both tabs, or I can imagine a little bit more in hydration followed by energy. But just a side point I want to make, larger items such as rice and cereal have negative effects in Daisy. They give you lots of energy at the expense of some of your hydration, but the problem with the carton is, is that it holds rich liquid that both hydrates as well as it energises. Send me your input here people because I'm thinking in order to keep it fair, an item like this would either have to be extremely rare or give you a boost in both health tabs, but not to a great degree. That's my take on it anyway. Right, now moving on to another carton drink, milk. Hey, this ain't juice, but still, mostly out there have milk or soya. And if you're also thinking, but cred, you can't drink old school milk because it would have gone sour by now, but ahaha. This is not just any milk. I'm sure most of you out there buy regular milk with a short sell-by date, but if you're that prepper who thinks the world's going to end in some horrible nuclear winter or has a 50s fallout shelter in the garden, I'm sure you got UHT milk stacked up somewhere. UHT milk, short for ultra high temperature processed, which is basically boiling the crap out of milk until it's somewhat sterile, then quickly sealing it into the carton. This stuff can apparently last for years as long as it's kept sealed. Great for hot climates as well as it can be stored unrefrigerated. So if you survive for years in the zombie apocalypse, I can imagine you'd be glad to encounter one of these bad boys. Some people can't stand it though. I personally, I, I don't mind UHT milk. I think it, I think it's pretty good. I drink it now and again. It kind of tastes a little different than regular milk. Mm, I'm not really that fussy. I'm kind of sort of more progressive now on the progressive tip, uh, drinking soya. What can I say? The vegans, they worked me over. But um, all aside, uh, my dribble, <laughs> uh, I hope you agree with the graphics as it looks um, somewhat how a milk product should look. Um, perhaps it could also, um, when it comes to energy and um, health, it could also give you more energy as it's rich in proteins and other minerals than fruit. And that's all I can basically say on that really, uh, yeah, milk is milk. Now for the third item, pineapple juice. I was going to do apple juice, but I decided not to in the end. Chinaris is an apple tree country. At the moment, you can pretty much get apples on tap. This kind of made me think whether or not you're going to be able to craft your own apple juice or perhaps even cider and keep it in salvaged containers. So with that in mind, I decided to swerve apple juice as it's pointless with those crafting avenues available, which I think would be really good if they were implemented. However, uh, maybe I'm looking too much into things anyway. So pineapple juice, it's something a little bit more tropical, different than your average Chinaris items, I guess. The packaging is also based on an export from an island in the South Pacific. No names. 
So there's your set of three. Just a few more points I want to cover. First of all, the drinking animations. I suppose the current drinking action could be used, though you would get a bit of clipping, perhaps modifying the drinking animation with straight fingers as the item is square. Another point, I've designed the carton cap separately, so there's an option to remove it before drinking. You do get this a lot with other daisy items, which is really good, but whether or not it's worth doing as it's automatic with other drinking items, like the water bottle for instance. Lastly, I'm totally up for this being in other mods. If any other modders out there are interested, juice cartons are pretty universal. You could have this in Altus Life, Armor 3 Life mods, or anything for that matter. For instance, if your mod has a shop, it's something more to purchase or a new item for peeps to interact with. It's just juice cartons, it's not the be all end all, but would make a nice little addition to any projects out there. So this is a giveaway, you can use this for whatever you want, but there are just two conditions. Just that you message me and let me know what you're going to be using it for and I'm in the credits somewhere. I put a download link to a folder containing the OPJ and texture maps below. And thank you for watching, that's it for this episode. Subscribe and follow my progress and thoughts on Twitter. And if you want to view my models online, I've always got them posted on P3D. Take care out there peeps, this has been Credit Dread. Till next time guys, all the best.